Have you ever have a situation where you launch an app on your Fire Stick TV, whether you watch the news or you're in Cody doing something, and after a certain time interval, your screensaver kicks in? Uh, you've tried everything. You've gone into your settings and you've disabled uh, the screensaver. You set you set it to never. Still, your apps they exit prematurely, and you have to go back in and launch them. So I'm showing you a way how you can disable the function within your Amazon Fire Stick where that doesn't happen anymore. Uh, you cannot go into your, your dashboard. Let me show you this. Let's go into the dashboard here. So if I go to settings and go over to display and sounds, there's nothing in here that allows you to turn that function off. Yes, you can click on screensaver. And if you scroll down to say start time, you can set that to never. Your screensaver is going to still kick in and stop your apps. And you have to go back in and relaunch your apps. If you go down to display, there's nothing in there either. So there's no way you can turn that function off that to where it doesn't prematurely turn your apps off or kick you back out to your home screen. I think you guys know what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna show you a way how you can disable that function, okay? Okay, step one, I want you to click on the home button on your Amazon Fire Stick TV. And then let's scroll over to settings. Then let's scroll over to display and sounds. Let's click on that. Then your very first option that's selected here is screensaver. Click on that. Scroll down to start time. And mine by default is set to five minutes. I'm going to change that. Let's set it to never. That's what you want to do. And then let's back out. Then let's click back again. Then let's go over to my Fire TV. Click on that. Then scroll down to developer options. And we want to turn on ADB debugging. So tick on that. Then we want to turn on apps from unknown sources. Tick on that to turn it on. Then click turn on. Okay. Let's hit the back button one time. Then let's go up to about. And where it says far stick TV, we want to scroll down to network. And it'll swap to the right hand side, you see something called IP address. An IP address is a series of four numbers separated by dots. In my example here, the IP address to the TV that my fire stick is connected to is 10.0.0.34. Yours will be different. So make sure you write down the IP address for your particular fire stick. If you have more than one fire stick installed on in your house, say on, in a living room or another bedroom, do the exact same thing you've just done here and write down the IP addresses for those fire sticks as well. All right, so we're done here. So let's click on the home button and that will take us back out to the home screen. Let's now go to our computer. Next, we're going to install a piece of software. It's very small, very easy to use. It is non-evasive, meaning that it doesn't slow your computer down. It doesn't contain viruses or spyware, nothing like that. And it's called ADB Link. So I want you to go to jacala.com, spelled J-O-C-A-L-A.com. Once you get there, scroll down to the download section, and you have the option for downloading for Windows, the Mac operating system, or for Linux. In my case, I have a Windows machine that I'm going to use, so I'm going to click on ABD link for Windows, download the software, and install it. It takes less than a minute. So I've already installed it. So I'm going to go ahead and dismiss the screen. When you install the piece of software, you will see an icon on your desktop that looks like this right here. So I'm going to double click on that and we're going to launch the software. And 
and here it is ADB link let's get to it all right so I'm gonna go ahead and configure um, the first fire stick in my house and it's the uh, one in the master bedroom so click on the new button and you get this uh, screen make sure where it says Kodi OS that's Kodi operating system that Android is selected from this drop down menu and then in description type in the location of that particular fire stick in my case master bedroom and under address type in the IP address for that particular fire stick in your case it's going to be different mine is 10.0.0.34 and then you're going to come down and when you click on the save button uh, pay attention to your screen you should have your fire your um, Amazon Fire Stick uh, on your screen on your television because you're going to get a, you're going to get a pop-up window so click save and when you see that uh, Dalek window just click on it to authorize the connection that's all you're going to see okay so once you've done that you should see under connected devices master bedroom in my case and it should show that you have an IP connection there if you come down lower right hand corner it says that ADB is running that's what you want but this is telling you here that the software rather is connected to that fire stick now we're going to configure it next I want you to click on ADB shell it's going to bring up a command prompt screen let me pull it into view and we're going to enter a couple of commands the first command we're just going to check some stuff out so I want you to type in settings space get space system space screen underscore off underscore timeout then hit the enter key Let's see what it tells us okay it gives us a number there and I'm gonna tell you what that is remember when I had you go in to the uh, screen saver settings within the um, within Am the Amazon Fire Stick dashboard and we set that to never that's what that is okay so we done this we, we could have changed it here but we did it the easy way all right so that's what you want to see all right no problem all right so nothing needs to be done here the next setting is the important one so I want you to type in settings space put rather than get type in put secure space sleep underscore timeout space and enter in zero then hit enter you're done and what you've done here you've disabled that function that you can't get to via the settings uh, panel within the fire stick amazon and so now what's going to happen is that uh, when you launch Kodi or any of your other applications uh, your device will not go into the save mode they'll stay on okay now if you ever want to put it back to where it was before there's two ways you can do that you can go into the settings section of your fire stick go to my fire tv and just reset your your fire stick or you can come in here and type in settings put secure sleep underscore timeout rather than put a zero there you can put in say um 12,000 or 15,000 okay and then your screen server will kick in at that time interval okay so let's do another one so I'm gonna go ahead and dismiss this one and I'm gonna do one more just so just as a teaching thing here so this is my master bedroom I want to do the one out in my living room so I'm gonna click on new 
And under description, I'm going to punch in living room. The IP address of the fire stick in my living room is 10.0.0.91. Then I'm going to click on save. And I should get a prompt. Connection, good. So I have my living room. I'm going to select that one and click on ADB shell. And we're going to do the same thing we did for the master bedroom. We'll get a command window. And I'm going to type in settings. And I'll have these commands in the description below this video. Space get space system space screen underscore off underscore timeout hit the enter key we should have a nice number there okay that's the number you that you want to see okay and what i've done i've gone into the uh, settings section on my uh, smart tv or well, under Amazon Fire Stick, rather, settings section, and I set this to never. That's what that is. All right, next, we're going to go ahead and uh, disable the function that keeps putting the uh, uh, our devices or our apps, rather, into the sleep mode. So we're going to type in settings. In fact, let's do this. Let's take a look at and see what it is set to right now. So let's type in settings. This is to help you learn. Get secure sleep underscore timeout. Let's see what that's set to right now. Hit enter. It's set to 1,200,000. I think that's uh, seconds. Okay, so after that goes by, then that's when that function kicks in and it exits out of our apps and goes to sleep. Okay, so we want to, want to set that to zero. We want to disable that. To do that, we're going to do the same thing, except we're going to change that get to a put. So we'll do settings. Put. Secure sleep underscore timeout space zero hit enter okay now I want to check that what you can do is hit the up arrow on your keyboard and toggle to the point where you get to where it says settings get secure sleep timeout and let's check it and make sure that it stays at zero Okay, right there, it's at zero. So our settings, it took. So we, we're, we're finished here. We're finished with uh, this fire stick. So I've set my master bedroom to where that function is disabled and the one in the living room. I'll do the third one, but no need to bore you with that. Now that you know how to do it. There are other videos on YouTube that don't really show you this. They have you go into the uh, your Amazon Fire Stick back office and set your screensaver uh, timeout to to never. That doesn't work. Not for what we want to do here. What we want to do here is uh, set this to where our apps don't just exit. So if you're in Cody doing something or if you're watching, say, the news, and after a certain time period, uh, your apps just stop and everything goes out to your, um, your home page or your home screen. So that should not happen anymore if you do this. Okay, so I hope this helped. Take care.